what's up guys we're finally back to make another video and um, before you here you guys can see we've got all kinds of ammo we're gonna be doing our uh, comprehensive 22 caliber ballistics gel uh, test we're gonna be using pellets and we're gonna be using slugs um, I've got an assortment of both um, <laughs> Let's just take a quick brief, uh, quick look here. I've got the Barracuda Hunter Extremes, the Barracuda Hunters, the Crow Mags, the JSB Hades. Um, I had some of these uh, lying around for my old break barrel, so we're going to throw those in there and see if they expand equivalent to what a, a, a we'll call a premium pellet will expand. Uh, i got the Poly Mags. On the slug side, I've got some 28 grain varmint knockers, the H&N the H 25 grain slugs, JSB knockouts, 23 grain Nielsen's, the FX hybrids, and here are the 22 caliber um, uh, varmint knockers. Uh, sorry, 22 grain varmint knockers. Um, I don't have the um, the box for them. I'll actually put a picture right there. We've got also loaded up in the clip um, the 23 grain Patriot javelins. So that's what the box looks right there. Look like right there um, for our test rigs. Um, I did a lot of testing earlier today. Let me show you briefly, this is the chart of speeds that I went out and shot this morning to determine which was going to be the best gun to shoot which. And um, the BP-17 was shooting most of these slugs right below or right above 800 feet per second. The um, uh, DreamTac was shooting them a little bit faster. So to make this a relevant test for everybody, the BP-17 is going to be shooting the pellets. Um, that's going to be kind of an accurate representation of what you might have at the house, you know, and what you guys are shooting. So that way you know that this test will, will kind of cross over to your usage as well. You know, um, if you're shooting faster than what I'm shooting, then great. You know, you'll get better performance maybe than what I'm getting here, but this will work as a baseline for the slugs. We're going to be using the DreamTac Compact. And um, I'm going to do a second video for the slugs. And um, I might throw some of the pellets in there as well. But uh, we're going to test out what the, how these slugs perform at lower velocities. Um, the second video will be using higher velocity rifle. I'll either use my Wildcat or my Impact, and we'll shoot these slugs a lot faster and um, see what the difference is. I'm imagining that some of these slugs might not expand at this low speed, and some of them will. And that's going to be a good gauge as to, as to compare these, showing which ones perform at a lower speed than others. And uh, that might be something that might be relevant for you guys. Um, if you're shooting a lower power rifle, so you don't have an FX impact or whatever to shoot them over a thousand feet per second. Uh, I know for a fact that um, these varmint knockers here and the, some of the Patriot Javelins that I got loaded up in the clip, those do expand at low velocities, and I'm guessing some of these other ones are not going to expand. Um, so we'll see. But um, let me get the test set up. We're going to be using the Lab Radar to document our speeds all the way out to our target. Um, our target is just to the side of the car right there you can see the camera and um, I'm gonna I've got a little platform and uh, I've got a, a grid drawn out or snap um, taped out on the platform where the ballistics gel is gonna be that way when we're watching the slow motion we'll be able to see the actual expansion and measurement and we'll be able to see which ones cause a better cavity and um, which ones you know we'll be able to we'll, we'll see what the data shows but it'll give us a way of deciphering how the expansion is on, on each of these projectiles. So let me get things set up and uh, we'll get started. Okay, for starters, we're gonna be using the uh, Predator Polymags. These are, let me see, what's the weight? 15.89 grains, so just about 16 grains. I don't have enough cameras to record the chronograph or the lab radar, but I will give you guys the readout um, after we shoot them, we'll give you guys the average. So I've got some poly mags loaded up. I don't know if you guys can see that. We're going to take a few shots um, into a target that I got next to it. And then we'll put two shots of each into the gel for comparison. Let's get started. All right, that one was 822. 818. Okay, so I see where I'm hitting. We'll take two, two shots into the gel.
Okay, there's our two. Let me uh, swap out some ammo and we'll get started with the next one. But let's uh, continue with the JSB Hades. Okay, let's go for the gel. And those are at 826. Two good hits in there. Let me swap out um, next. I'm going to load up some of the H and N. Barracuda Hunter Extremes. These ones are 18.52 grains. Okay, I've got uh, five of the Barracuda Hunter Extremes loaded up. I'm gonna take some shots on target and we'll see if we can put uh, two into the gel. That was 7.87. Seven eighty-eight. All right, we're gonna put two into the gel. Seven eighty-nine. Looks like I skimmed that one across the top. Okay. There's our two into the gel. Let me um, flip the gel target around and then uh, we'll shoot six more. Okay, next is the Barracuda Hunters. These are also, let me see here, 18.21 grains. So let me put a couple shots into the paper to figure out where I'm hitting and we'll put two in the, tar in the gel. Them in the gel, and those are going 789. Okay, I think those barracudas uh, skimmed off the top, so I've still got one left in there. Let me see if I can aim a little lower and get it into the gel. And then um, after that, I've got the crow mags loaded up. And those are 18.21 grains. All right, that don't look like it hit the gel.
All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the crow mags. Seven eighty eight. Seven eighty three. Seven eighty one. Okay, looks like I see where I'm hitting. Let me put a few more in there. Those ones didn't want to group too well. Okay, uh, let me redo on the crow mags. I've got a new mag loaded up, and let's see if we can figure out, I need to figure out where they're shooting before I try to hit the gel. Okay, looks like we're good. Let's put two into the gel. Okay, looks like that was two good hits. Uh, we're gonna switch off to the last one, which is um, the Crossman Premier Hollow Points. These ones are very light, they're 14.3 grain. Let me swap out magazines and we'll get to that. Okay guys, these are the Crossman Premiers. Well, I'll show you a picture on screen. They are the 14.3 grain. I haven't shot these yet. I just happened to find these when I was gathering up extra ammo for this test. So um, let's see what kind of speeds we're getting out of these. And um, if they even group, let me shoot some on target. So they're going 844 feet per second. And they're actually grouping pretty good by the looks of it. 843. Uh, all three of those shots are touching. Another uh, 834. So let me see if I can put two into the gel. Okay. Looks like we got two good. two good hits let's go down there and check out our gel um, I've got a whole nother block for the slugs so we'll swap it out and shoot the slugs in the same fashion and um, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys have already seen the slow motion footage yet or not I'm not sure quite how I'll edit this but um, my goal is to replay uh, on a loop and on and side by side um, to narrow down the slow motion to narrow, narrow down which ones create the best cavity in slow motion so um, you guys might have already seen that. Uh, that might be coming up after this. I'm not sure how I'll edit that in post, but we'll figure it out. And you guys hopefully should be able to tell the difference and uh, the impact and the cavity created from all those different hollow points. So uh, let me pack, let me turn the chronograph off and everything, and um, we'll walk down there and check it out. Okay, guys, time to start comparing the results. Uh, I'm going to have these in lowest performing to highest performing. So starting out with last place. We have the Crossman Premiers. They were light. They were going fast, 22 foot-pounds. They caused a good cavity, and the duration of the cavity is not too bad. But um, just compared to the rest of the pellets in the field, uh, they were not the top performers. And um, for the price, they might be worth considering still. 
Um, second to last, we have the Cro-Magnums. Now with this head shape, I figured it'd do pretty good. I kind of thought it'd create a bigger cavity, but as you can see here, uh, it wasn't a huge cavity, but the duration of the cavity and the size was pretty significant. You know, it kind of went for quite a ways, but um, still not, not quite up to the rest of the pellets that were tested in this field. Um, next, we have the H&N Barracuda Hunters. Uh, these did cause some decent uh, expansion. You know, the, the three quarters of an inch is nothing to to overlook, and um, the cavity duration is pretty significant. So you'll definitely see a pop whenever you hit something with those. Uh, they definitely will cause some damage, and um, the ones I pulled out of the gel did deform. Uh, coming up next, we have the Barracuda Hunter Extremes. Um, this is kind of similar to the Hades as far as the head shape. Um, you can see that the the maximum expansion of the cavity is pretty wide an inch and it is significantly longer it carries that cavity for quite a ways so it definitely pushes what's at whatever is in front of it out of the way to create that cavity so that's a good performer um, coming up second to last i'm sorry second place is the jsb hades and you can see there by the expansion on this cavity this is an inch and a quarter this is a definitely an excellent pellet uh, if your gun groups these pellets, I'd recommend shooting them. You know, they're they're not so expensive in 22 cal, and they're great performers. And just look at the size of that cavity compared to the rest. And coming up in first place with a two inch expansion there, a uh, big old whap is the Polymags. Now um, these ones just kind of hands down beat everything else as far as expansion. And we're shooting them at these low velocities. It didn't have the highest amount of foot pounds, but as you, as you can see, it definitely did out expand everything. But um, there's the results. All right, guys, these are all the pellets and uh, slugs on the right that I dug out of the ballistics gel. Um, the slugs are going to be in part two, and it will be a heads-up comparison. I wanted to do the pellets first so we could take the best of the pellets and compare them to the slugs and see how everything matched up in a head-to-head. -head. So uh, stay tuned for episode two. It'll be out in a few days, and uh, we'll be comparing them in a heads-up fashion to see which one has the, the biggest expanded diameter in the gel. So thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned.